Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Gabe Salazar. And I'm Dominique Newland. Ahead at six, President Trump and vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris are both making campaign stops in the battleground state of Arizona today, but sending different messages. What they are up ahead. Plus, wildfires continue to grow and ravage parts of Southern California. Thousands are sent to evacuate as it shows no sign of slowing down. Plus, some homegrown talent making waves in Hollywood and representing the desert southwest. We're following Tanner Gomes' journey on NBC's The Voice and caught up with his family during his TV debut. These stories and more as Sunrise starts now. Well, we are six days until Election Day, and the presidential candidates continue to campaign hard. Last night, President Trump on board Air Force One arrived in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today, Mr. Trump has multiple campaign stops in Nevada and here in Arizona. Trump will visit Bullhead City later this morning and then make his way to Goodyear, Arizona, later this afternoon. And meanwhile, Democrat Joe Biden plans to make an address on protecting and beating COVID-19. And vice presidential candidate Kamala Harris is also expected to make a visit to Arizona just days before Election Day. Now, the news was announced on Monday in a press release stating Harris will be stopping in Tucson and Phoenix today. In the morning, Senator Harris will meet with a group of Latina business owners in Tucson. Afterwards, Senator Harris will participate in an early vote mobilization event. Yeah, and in the afternoon, Senator Harris will travel to Phoenix to meet with a group of black leaders. And later, Senator Harris will participate in an early vote mobilization event with Grammy Award winning singer and philanthropist Alicia Keys. So here's a clip of one of her rallies in Nevada earlier yesterday. 